Well, it appears residents of the town of Amherst are facing a significant tax hike in the coming year. Now, it would raise the town tax for the average homeowner there by just under $300. And Channel 2's Dave McKinley has more tonight about what's driving that increase. After holding the line on increases in recent years, mostly due to having COVID funds from the federal government, Supervisor Brian Culpa's proposed budget for the coming year calls for levying an additional $10 million in property taxes. That's an increase of more than 11%, more than triple what the state-imposed property tax cap allows unless the town board votes to override it, which it did in a special meeting a week ago. Culpa wasn't available for an on-camera interview today, but in a statement to two on your side said it's more complicated than a headline. Culpa has noted that beyond the usual increases for employee salaries and benefits, there are several big projects afoot this year for Erie County's largest town. The town has embarked on a conversion of more than 9,000 streetlights, which it first had to purchase from National Grid to LEDs at a cost of $33 million. Work is also set to begin next year on transforming the former Westwood Country Club, bought by the town for $7.5 million, into a new town park. And if it can put a lengthy eminent domain court battle in the rearview mirror, move forward with plans to transform the Boulevard Mall into a mix of residences and community space. These projects also would require borrowing, which with today's high interest rates makes that more expensive, adding more to the bottom line. We also have to stop borrowing for items that are recurring expenses, such as purchasing police vehicles and highway vehicles. We could get away with it when the Fed held the interest rates at zero, is what the town supervisor said. Unless amendments are offered by Monday, the budget as proposed will be adopted. One amendment thus far was made by board member Sean Lavin and approved. It does require the supervisor to provide an annual report with projections on revenue and spending, along with a comprehensive budget monitoring report four times a year. On your side in the studio, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News. David.